Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorials while learning DOM tree structure and also various terminologies of a tree structure, we have written this sample code. In the body section, we have written a div element. Within the div element, we have written a header element, a div element, a footer element. Within the header element, we have written h2, paragraph and anchor elements. In the div, we have written paragraph and anchor element. Within the footer, we have written h2 element, paragraph element and anchor element. This is the output of this code. And also for this section of a code, we have drawn a DOM tree. While learning DOM tree, we understood siblings. Two or more nodes having the same parent are known as siblings. Here h2, paragraph and anchor element have same parent known as header hence h2 paragraph and anchor element are considered as siblings here the paragraph and anchor element have the same parent which is the div hence we can consider the paragraph and anchor as siblings here h2 paragraph and anchor element have the same parent that is the footer element hence we can consider h2 p and anchor element as siblings. Also the header, div and footer elements are having the same parent which is div element. Hence we can consider header, div and footer as siblings. Also while learning sibling we understood adjacent siblings. That is h2 and p are adjacent siblings. Paragraph and anchor tag are adjacent siblings. Whereas h2 and anchor elements are not considered as adjacent siblings because they are not one beside another in the middle we have a paragraph element. But you can consider h2, p and anchor element as adjacent siblings. p and a are adjacent siblings, h2 and p are adjacent siblings, p and a are adjacent siblings, header and div are adjacent siblings, div and footer are considered as adjacent siblings even you can consider header div and footer as adjacent siblings in this video tutorial i am going to discuss css adjacent sibling selector adjacent sibling selector is also known as next sibling selector friends it selects any html element targeted by a selector written after the plus character which is or are sibling of and immediately preceded by any HTML element targeted by the selector written before the plus character. We already know the syntax of CSS rule set. We write a selector in flower bracket we write declaration list. To implement adjacent sibling selector or next sibling selector in place of a selector we write selectors one beside another separated by plus sign. This is the syntax of adjacent sibling selector friends. Selector 1 plus selector 2 plus selector 3 and so on. In flower bracket we write declaration list. You can see selectors are separated by the plus sign. This code what actually it does? It selects any HTML element targeted by the selector 2 which is a sibling of and immediately preceded by any HTML element targeted by selector 1. We can see an example here I have written h2 plus p. h2 and p both are tag selectors and in the middle we have a plus sign and in flower brackets I have written border 2px solid red. It selects any p element which is a sibling of and immediately preceded by h2 element that is it selects any p element which is a sibling of h2 element and immediately preceded by h2 element. We understand by seeing the demonstration. Let me go to the notepad here and in the header section I say style type equal to text or CSS then I say closing style within the style tag I say h2 plus p and in flower brackets I write border 2px solid red semicolon file save now what we are telling to the browser check whether h2 and p are siblings within this page you can see that within this page here we have h2 element 
and P element both are having the same parent hence H2 and P are sibling. Similarly in the footer you can see H2 element and P element are having the same parent footer hence H2 and P are siblings. And next thing you check that whether the paragraph element is immediately preceded by the H2 element whether they are adjacent. Of course paragraph element is immediately preceded by H2 in the header. Similarly this paragraph is immediately preceded by H2 element in the footer. Hence we are telling to the paragraph you set the border to px solid red color. If I say file save you should see the header paragraph and the footer paragraph is going to have a border 2px solid red. I go to the browser, say refresh. You can see that the header paragraph and the footer paragraph are now having the border set to 2px solid red. Let me write one more code and make you clear. The next part I am going to say here is uh, maybe I say paragraph and then I say anchor. Now what I am telling to the system in this page if you find anywhere P and A as sibling. Of course you can see here paragraph and A elements are having the same parent hence they are sibling. This paragraph and this anchor element are having the same parent hence they are siblings. This paragraph and this anchor are having the same parent hence they are siblings. If the anchor tag is immediately preceded by the P apply the border to px solid red to the anchor element. So here this anchor is immediately preceded by p, this anchor is also immediately preceded by p, this anchor is also immediately preceded by p. Hence this anchor, this anchor, this anchor should have border to px solid red. File, save, go to browser, refresh. You can see all three anchors are now having 2px solid red border. That is how the adjacent sibling selector works friends. First it checks whether they are siblings and then it checks whether they are adjacent siblings and it checks whether the next selector is immediately preceded by the previous selector HTML element. That is how it works. Let me write again here H2 and P file save. Of course now we are telling whether H2 and P are siblings. Yes here H2 and P are siblings, here H2 and P are siblings and whether P is immediately preceded by H2? Yes, here the P is immediately preceded by H2, here P is immediately preceded by H2, hence every P that should have a border to px solid red. File, save, go to browser, refresh, you can see a paragraph in the header, a paragraph in the footer element are having the border set to 2px solid red. Now what I do is I write something like this, plus A. Now what we are telling to the browser, check whether H2, P and A are siblings. You can see in the header here, H2, P and A are sibling. Here H2, P and A are sibling. But he, in this div we don't have H2 element. And check whether A is immediately preceded by P and P is immediately preceded by H2. If it is, then set the anchor element border to 2px solid red. Only in this header and footer, anchor is preceded by P, P is preceded by H2. Anchor is preceded by P, P is preceded by H2. Hence, only the anchor in the header and the anchor in the footer are going to have border 2px solid red. Whereas this anchor is not going to have a border of 2px solid red because here anchor is preceded by P, but P is not preceded by H2. Let me show you file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see the anchor tag within the header, anchor tag within the footer are now having the border of 2px solid red. Here I have three selectors, tag selector, tag selector, tag selector separated by the plus sign. Remember that how the browser works, first it checks whether all three elements are siblings, okay? And then it checks whether they are adjacent. That means whether the next element is preceded by immediately preceded by the previous element, whether the previous element is immediately preceded by previous previous element. If all matches, then it applies the styles on the last or the element which is the next. 
uh, adjacent sibling setter is also known as next sibling setter remember that guys now let me write one more example if i say here i say body and then i say here div and then i say here footer now here comes a question whether the body div and footer are siblings no the body div and footer are not siblings that won't work out check out whether the h e a d e r header div and footer are siblings you can see here the header the div the footer are siblings because they all have the same parent next check out whether the footer is immediately preceded by div element of course this footer is immediately preceded by the div element and also check whether the div element is immediately preceded by header yes this div is immediately preceded by the header hence to the footer you have to apply border 2px solid red file save good browser refresh you can see that the footer is now having the border 2px solid red that is all about adjacent sibling selector and how it works friends for this tutorial this much is enough friends i hope you guys have understood clearly how the adjacent sibling selector works and what it does and how do you write or implement adjacent sibling selector in your websites for more benefits and be updated please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial